I want to ask uh, one final question um, that I ask most of my guests because it's a, I, I think of it as a reflective question for, for everyone. Um, and that is, what life lesson has taken you the longest to learn? <laughs> Another excellent question. <laughs> I think uh, self-awareness. Because we all think that we can do a lot more than we're actually capable of. I remember this show, I think it's in Scarface. I think um, um, the guy, what's his lead character says, a man needs to know his limitations. You know, so while we can be forward thinking, we can be gung-ho about a lot of things, but we all have our limitations. And, and, and chasing a false dream is equally um, harmful, um, like being lazy. Right, if you're not realistic with with what you want to do, and a lot of it comes from from ego. So what I've learned is that I cannot lead with ego. I cannot let my ego take center stage. Right, I still make mistakes until today, even though I'm aware. We all do, right? We're just human. That's the way we are built. So I think that was the one of the life lessons that I've learned over time. That you know, know your limitations. Don't lead with ego. Wherever you have a gap, ask for help. Um, work with people that walk your path or the path that you want to walk and ask for help. And, and I think uh, athletes are notoriously um, guilty of not asking for help because of the ego, because you need a certain level of ego to be a top athlete. Yeah. Uh, but I think you need to lose that as soon as you know, the lights go off. Mm. And how, then I think how, that's, yeah. How, how did you do that for yourself? It's, it's, it's yeah. a lot of uh, um, self-reflection. I think, you know, when, when you face, when you face, with a lot of uh, setbacks in life, a lot of challenges, a lot of failures. Um, um, at the start of the show, you say very successful in business, but uh, I'm, I'm, some parts of it you probably know, but I think a lot of people don't know that I've had my equal number of failures. I was, I was just right once. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I was 99% I was <laughs> of the projects that I did, I failed. I was just right once. So, yeah. uh, and I suppose a lot of entrepreneurs are chasing for the one time they are right. Right. So, yeah. so th through those life lessons, you pick up quite a lot of things and then you start reflecting, asking yourself, why am I going through all this? And why am I here? Uh, I deserve more. Look at that guy. You know, he's not done anything with his life and stuff like that. So, you know, when you get to that space, it's very dangerous. It's not he healthy for yourself, he not healthy for your mind or the people around you. So I try and practice that as much as I, as I can. I'm super mindful about that. Simple thing as people cutting me in the, in the, on the road into my lane. First reaction is, and then you go, oh no, no, you can't, you can't do that, right? So, so it's 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 uh, being there at the moment, recognizing that you are actually going the wrong direction, quickly changing the way you think uh, to something quickly positive, or and saying that this doesn't matter given the bigger scheme of things. Somebody might be in a hurry to go to the hospital or something like that. Just just taking your mind away from that. I think it's uh, it's it's a valuable lesson I've learned in life and I think I will continue to do that because I think I don't think one can master that in in, uh, in this journey called life because it's impossible we all are peppered with different situation and circumstances in our life on a daily basis uh, it's just when you stop the moment take a step back and then see from the outside in I think it'll make a lot of sense and, and I hope I've made sense with what I've been trying to tell people in a very long-winded way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think self-awareness is really a lifelong pursuit. And, and, and how, I don't know, I don't know whether you want to say fortunate or unfortunate that as the, the older we get and the more we master it, the less time we have to practice it. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're, you're spot on. I think you're spot on. But it also makes a difference for me because I've got two young boys, you know, nine and seven. And I think it's very important that, you know, a character of a child is shaped at a very young age. Uh, you can't leave it till when they are 12, 13, 14, then it's too late to do anything. Um, so my wife and I are very, very mindful that, you know, the values we give them, the thought process behind things, how they conduct themselves as human beings first, and then how they treat others as human beings is extremely important, more important for us than the A's they pick up in school and you know, being you know, scoring a wonderful goal on the pitch, all of that is secondary. Um, I think it starts inside. The incentric motivation is very, very important. So we work very hard at it. Uh, I would say, like you know, because if we can then give them the right values from a very young age, then they will grow up as human beings, not useful for themselves, but also the the, the society at large. I think 
uh, that's important. And, you know, um, there's some sort of validation because because my elder son, Kian, and he's nine years old, has just been picked uh, to be a prefect in school. So, oh, nice. uh, yeah, so so you can see that, you know, if you if you if you plant the seed properly, I think the, the, the fruits turn up well. So, uh, like I said, uh, it's a it's a domino effect because I'm self-aware, because I'm learning, I pass it on to someone else. And, and this time it's easy because I've got two kids at home yeah. and they say, that, you know, charity starts at home. So you got to start doing that and uh, leading by example. So, yeah, you know, I think that those are the things that are priority for me these days more than chasing a dream of building a business empire. 